Welcome back guys. In today's episode, we are going to tackle the orders component in our application. So every restaurant which a owner adds will have orders, right? So we will introduce the entity of orders for each restaurant and we will have this in a URL where the owner can click and see the coming orders and so, you know, the incompletes one will be here then we will you know, go to the completed ones and we will also add a form a very intuitive form which the which anyone can use to add orders as and when they come so yeah let's get started building this up um, in our application right so this is our current application you know, I have gone back to the old code from our last tutorial and we will start from here. So in my Visual Studio code, first thing that I'm going to do is go into my web.php and create a new route and put all these routes inside authentication first. Alright, so we have all our routes inside the middleware authentication so you know the user needs to be logged in and we have our new route which is restaurants slash order slash the id okay we will pass the restaurant id and we'll get all the orders i'll call this controller resto control restaurant so resto order controller okay and so let's you know, get started with this um no why don't we do one thing? It is TAU restaurant. Okay, let's keep things as detailed as possible. So PA make controller this. Okay, now I have that controller. Inside that controller, we need an index method, right? So we'll come over here. We're passing the ID, so we'll get that here and so first of all okay we will check whether you know the restaurant is available or not i could have done route model binding but i'm not doing it right now because i also need to you know get the um orders and everything so let's keep it this way for now so if i don't find restaurant i need to abort saying it's a 404 okay if you would have done route model binding okay i have already done uh, done find or failed so let's do it find okay so that we get this error otherwise it will show an exception and if you find that we'll need to get the orders so that's something which we will need to work on for now let's say we'll return orders dot order index now we don't have this view so let's create it inside resources all right we have this in place and why don't we steal some of the code from here push it here and we are sending the we need to send the orders right so for now what we can do is we'll pass the restaurant okay and we'll just print it here just to ensure that the, you know the data is available to us and all those things um, just, just clean it up a bit so yeah we have this um, restaurants slash order slash ID I think we should be able to get order slash ID hmm, 404 app is working orders is not able to find Okay, it's orders. So I'll keep it orders, yes. 
right so we have the restaurant data at least coming up now obviously we can't go like this i would ideally want a link over here which is something like a you know again a, a slug inside the restaurant you know like we have done the slug for restaurant so let's create an additional attribute I'll, oops i'll pull up restaurant.php our model we have this slug attribute right so why don't we copy this and have orders slug attribute we need to tell our eloquent model to load or you know, append this attribute every time okay now once we come over here refresh and go to view we should be getting that attribute yes so my slug is ready and I, I i don't need to you know create that custom um you know thing inside my view js application i don't you know i don't really like that because then you know once the url is changed again i'll have to go and change it in the components rather you know if my model is able to do that you know it makes me a little more confident so i have view menu we can have menu orders and this will be orders slug hit refresh orders and we are here right all right so the basic um, structure for you know, the order slug and uh, the controller is ready now we need to work on the orders model the actual model so let's create the model with migration factory order okay close all the files and we will have order dot so it's create orders table and we'll need to get the entire migration i'll just copy paste the code and we will go over it all right so what are we doing here we have two unsigned integer which are basically you know foreign keys in this table one is the restaurant id and one is the user id okay then we have the amount for the order i have a you know a column to check the status of that order whether it is complete or not and every order by default will be incomplete then i have you know adjacent tab uh, column i wanted to have a different you know order details table but then i thought you know why don't we use the json objects and you know get uh, things a little more simple I mean, because you know we don't need to make those joins and everything will be in that same table right because we are not going to uh, very frequently query the orders anyway so yeah <coughs> um, we have orders under order underscore details as a json column then we have completed that which is typically like you know when when the user clicks okay this order is done and we Take the timestamp and um, you know we have a historical data of when the order was completed so yes um this is it this is how you know we will have our you know table in place now let's look at our model okay first of all we'll have a guarded property as empty okay so that we can kind of use all the uh, create columns and then we need to get some relationships right so an order belongs to a restaurant so return dollar this belongs to restaurant class class and then I think I need to add the foreign key 
resto id okay um now i already have some data you know pumped in through the database seeder so i'll just you know show you the table first so in my table plus i have orders and so order has this resto id right so restaurants are related so why don't we do one thing so this is this is here and inside restaurants we have orders return this has many class okay all right um I think the rest, uh, the relation should work. Let's try out in our Tinker application. So, you know, we are sure of that. Um, let's have order find one. Okay. We are getting orders, and if we do. Rest your restaurant find we will get that um, but if we do with orders we are not getting it because it says orders dot restaurant id is not found so our relationship here needs to additionally say that it is restaurant id I think that should work yeah so we have you know these many orders I think there are quite a few um, let's keep it here so order um, okay why don't we do one thing inside our controller you know because we are already getting it so order restaurant order controller in here we will have a variable called orders which is equal to um, orders where resto id will be equal to dollar id we have already validated it so we can use it and we will need to paginate because um, there will be quite a few orders so yes we do that okay this is kind of done order index blade I'll copy and create one more row and let's just see if you know things are proper mb3 you know need some space and dollar orders come over here okay orders not found i think i haven't imported the class which is a very common thing hmm, ord orders orders what happened oh sorry Hmm. Now it is saying that it can't do a paginate order where. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah. So I have the. I still have. Okay. It is because it is a paginated object. It will not print the orders, but um it's you know giving me the pagination which is fine i think i need to do a table for that let's quickly do that table let's have the what else status okay these three things and then t body
ID then we'll have the amount okay and over here at the rate if if the count is greater than zero okay um, so we have this in place and the last thing obviously uh, dollar orders render hit refresh and we have that thing with pagination obviously some all of them are you know dummy data and you know, it right now is not making sense but um okay i think this will be a little more interesting why don't we do one thing uh, i know you don't have the you know complete picture about the data which we will be talking about but uh for now just you know be, bear with me uh what i'm trying to do is in every order in the json table i have you know this customer name customer phone and customer address so name will be order order details customer name I think that's how it will come up okay oh yes um, now this is a you know, inside my orders the order detail is a json json column so i'll need to tell the eloquent model that order details is an array okay so the data will be you know transformed uh, when i'm looking at the you know inside inside my views so customer details right so i'll have all the three things so i'll have the name what is it is it phone or phone number phone yeah all right so we have this data and obviously you know um, whatever we have done so far is basically we have created these relationships and we have ensured that we are able to load the data now in the next video what we will do is create our factory and cedar and see how the data is populated and then later on we will work on the create order form as well thanks for watching guys if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel